Welcome back to my channel. My name is Brian Epstein from mentalfitnesstraining.co and in this video, I'm gonna share with you how to control how you feel. Now, let me start by saying this. Feeling bad is a natural human experience, okay? Feeling pain is natural, it happens. Think about when you're doing really intense exercise. I guess you could say you're feeling kind of bad, especially if you're going through that burn. Okay, so that's normal. What we're gonna be talking about today is how to avoid suffering, okay? And we're gonna do so by controlling how we feel. So the feeling bad is something that can happen naturally, right? Like some really tragic event happens, you're gonna feel bad. What I'm, what I'm gonna teach you to do today is how to process that so you can feel good again, okay? And a lot of this has to do with subconscious programming. Other stuff is gonna be more around conscious awareness. Now I wanna say this, a lot of people out there, especially therapists, they'll tell you that what I'm telling you is not true. A lot of them will not say that you can control how you feel. They're kind of just gonna say, you know, emotions, they just rise up and you just have to deal with them and they are what they are and some people just have to suffer and it's just, that's your life. It's not true. Those people just don't have the tools to learn and know how to make themselves feel good again. They don't have the tools to control how they feel, okay? It's very possible, I'm gonna tell you how to do it in this video. Now, what happens on the conscious level? I'm gonna start there, okay? Think about this. Every time you experience something, you have a feeling, it comes from an internal representation that you're making. You hear something, you see something, smell something, taste something, touch something, you create a meaning behind it or an internal representation, and then you feel a certain way, okay? So if we can bring that internal representation that we're making from the subconscious up into the conscious level, you can realize, oh, interesting. When that person said that thing and I heard them say it, why was I emotionally triggered to feel bad? So the first part of this just starts with awareness. Awareness of what it's like to be you right now in this moment. Now, so many of us are just kind of trudging through life that we're very unconscious to even what our own experience is. So the first step in controlling how you feel is becoming aware of the experience you're having. And you can do that by simply taking a few deep breaths with your eyes closed. And asking yourself, what's it like to be me right now? And sitting with that experience and seeing what comes up. And that alone is gonna give the awareness to you of what your present moment experience is. Now with that awareness, you can choose a focus, okay? You can choose to be aware of your experience you're having and to see what representations you're making through your senses that are making you feel one way or another. And so when you have that awareness, notice how maybe you feel bad when you're focusing on what you don't want. So what do you do when you wanna feel good? You focus on what you do want. Now you may think this is an oversimplification and there's definitely more that goes into this and a lot of this exists on the subconscious level which I'm gonna get into shortly. But realize that a lot of feeling good is just directing your focus and making it a habit. We get caught in these loops of just focusing on what we don't want seeing and noticing, making internal representations about what we don't want. If the same thing is possible, you can start to make a new loop, focusing on what you do want, living in a world of what you do want, focusing, bringing in the people, the things, the events that you do want, okay? It's all about your focus and that is actually a choice. And so one thing that I really recommend you do if you're watching this video and you think that, hey, I would like to feel good, I wanna control how I feel, is setting alarms in your phone that go off every few hours and having yourself just become aware of what you're feeling throughout your day. Because that awareness alone is gonna give you the opportunity to see how you're making yourself feel good or bad. And then you can notice when you're feeling bad, how you can just focus back on the opposite. And a lot of times, if you're feeling anxious or some negative emotion, it's, thinking, feeling, it's focusing back on the opposite. And a lot of times that's just gratitude. So, if you're feeling anxious, well, think about that same thing, focus on that same thing, but bring gratitude into it, right? So a lot of people right now, they're very anxious about the pandemic. 
At the same time, they could feel very grateful for their own health. If they're not currently sick, you could feel grateful for how good your health is. And really, when you direct your focus, you're not just directing your focus. What you're doing is you're creating a focus that leads to a feeling. So you're feeling, you're controlling your feeling, which leads to your behavior, because usually whatever you feel leads to the action or inaction that you take, and that action leads to an outcome. So your focus actually is creating your reality if you follow the steps. Now this is just on the conscious level. On the subconscious, we have programs that have been written within us that have been there for, hmm, since for many of us, since we were little kids, other people have had really powerful events. Maybe some of this programming has, um, has been written more recently, but all this programming exists in the subconscious level in the form of beliefs. You see, what you believe to be true for you is true. And when you believe that you don't deserve something, you're not going to get it. When you believe you do deserve something, you're going to find a way to get it. And so our subconscious programming that really makes us feel one way or another oftentimes comes down to our beliefs. And so these beliefs are the subconscious programming of our minds. And so a really powerful exercise for you to do if you want to get serious and take another step past just your awareness and your focus is figuring out what beliefs you hold. And so this is a subconscious game. This is not something that you can just get through really quick. It's something that you have to sit with. It's a process. You have to pull these beliefs out. And a great way to do so is any moment when you notice your focus going on to something that's making you feel bad, you can ask yourself, what am I believing right now in this moment that's making me feel bad? Now, some beliefs you want to keep and some you're going to want to change. Like if I have a belief that I need to work out five times a week to stay healthy and I'm working out twice a week and I feel bad because I feel guilt, well, I actually don't want to change that belief. I want that leverage there for me to take action. On the other hand, if I believe that money is the root of all evil and I'm constantly broke and I'm never having enough money, and remember, this isn't a conscious thing intellectually. This is existing on the subconscious level, mostly coming from experiences from your parents or inner community. So if you have a belief that money is the root of all evil, you're going to continue to have issues with money until you change that belief. So instead of believing that money is the root of all evil, change that belief into believing that money is a tool for more freedom, security, and abundance. And these are just choices that we make. And these choices we make around our beliefs, oftentimes we're not doing it uh, intentionally. It's just something that has been, re has been written in the past for us. So this, what you're getting the opportunity to do right now, is rewrite it and actually choose your beliefs. Now there's a lot that goes into this process. Uh, if you wanna go deep down the rabbit hole and learn all this stuff, um, I take on clients I work with on the one-on-one -on -one level, but for people who are looking for more economic option, you can check out my app. I literally put together the whole roadmap for you to do this for yourself. And that app is linked up in the description below. If you go from phase one through phase eight, you will learn to control exactly how you feel, how you behave, and what you create in your life. Now, if you're just curious right now and you want to know, hmm, is this actually possible? Can I really control how I feel? Then I really encourage you to go through the exercise of setting your alarms every few hours, gaining that awareness, starting to control your focus, and then seeing what you're believing that's making you feel bad, and then changing those beliefs one by one by one. And I personally have a Google document that's pretty long that I can go through that has the old belief that was not serving me, and then I have the new belief that I chose underneath. So, Ultimately, we control how we feel with our focus and through the beliefs. Focus oftentimes happens on the conscious level. These beliefs are subconscious level, okay? But two of these things together create our reality, create our experience of life. And so my whole life, I thought that feeling bad was just a normal part of the human experience. I thought, okay, well, you just have to wait to not feel bad anymore. It's not true. A lot of feeling bad comes from programming that uh, is not serving you. And when you rewrite that programming, you step into your power, you gain the ability con to control how you feel.
Okay, that's it for this video today. Thank you so much for watching. If this was helpful for you, please, please share this with a friend, give them the tool, give them the resource. The reason why I'm making these videos is because this has been so impactful for me and the clients that I work with. I wanna get this out to as many people as possible and you watching this are a big part of that. So number one, you know, do the thing, take the action in your own life and then when you start to see those results, go bring it out to more people. If you haven't already, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Again, check out the app if you wanna dive deep into this stuff that I'm talking about here. And as always, thank you for watching.